hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna be captain. So all oh, y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. Angels that I got the message trying to get my bread up, gotta keep my head up, but I'm getting fed up. Niggas know I'm pressure. Still deal with days where I know I'm great, but I'm feeling less. I got a nigga stressing, got me smoking heavy. Damn, I swear this weed shit been cold and steady. I told him, show me. After looking at it closely, I realized that it wasn't close. The nigga got out six years ago, but they gave 37 to his COVID. What kind of shit is here? We teach niggas snitching a lesson. You lucky that wasn't us. We would have sent them to heaven, ripping a weapon. <laughs> you did all that and you thought you could come to battle rap. It's your pussy ass focus with witness protection. Whoa! Ladies and gentlemen, you already know what it is. Salute to every single one of y'all Monday morning. I hope all is well, etc. etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. I just knew that four battle rap events in one weekend was gonna be way too much. And there was something that was gonna hit the scene. It's just way too many people battling. You got the Battle Academy, and you got URL having volume, and URL had the All Ladies event, and URL had Civil War in Orlando, and then all of traffic dropped. It's just way too much battle rap going on, right? So in the midst of all of this, now comes out that Slade, and I'm gonna say allegedly, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna say allegedly. Has paperwork on him. And battle rap community is up in arms because this goes back to none other than Adi Boom getting exposed for being a rat and everything that came from after that. Uh, you know, he's based, Adi Boom's basically been exited out of the culture. I think he might have had a battle or two after. It just never went well though because the whole cooperating talking, having paperwork on you, allegedly. I do have the paperwork, I will read through some of it. Uh, it's very long, so I'm just saying, I'll read through it in a second, and I know that sometimes some people would like, they wanna hear it, and there's other people who don't. So, from what I've gathered, the paperwork is real, because I've seen Slade's reply, he's talking about, he's, he didn't talk about this per se, but he did talk about the case, being subpoenaed from jail, saying that they brought him to, 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 to testify. Not testify, but he was subpoenaed from jail. They make you go there. You have to answer questions about, who do you know this person? Do you know that person? Or whatever the case may be. So, from what I've gained is that his brother, right? So, on the paperwork, uh, Slade's name is here as David Doster. That's, his, that's David Doster, is him. And his brother is Mark Doster, I believe. And the brother is, quote-unquote, the bigger rat. You know what I'm saying? That's what, that's what Rock is saying. The brother's the bigger rat, and he done got people super, super duper time in jail. But what I'm seeing here is they saying that, and I'll read it. I have no problem reading it. But I'm going to say this, right? Um, in the battle rap culture, it ain't really no way, like, regardless of who it is, like, that's just some shit that once paperwork comes out, and there's been allegations of different people that people have said, have said things, and this, that, and the third. But when the paperwork comes out, and this paperwork that I have here, it's like three or four different documents. And these are actual pictures of documents that are pretty much legit. These are like from the state of Connecticut, Superior Court. They have docket numbers on here. They have signatures on here. They have dates on here. Paperwork from 2014. Like this is like, they really, somebody wanted this out. So here's the backstory, right? Whoever these guys are, that went to jail or got in trouble for this, they wanted this out bad. From what I'm, what I was told, what Rock told me, I spoke to him this morning. Uh, they passed this paperwork to Big T, who's such a nice guy. He didn't even use it. He didn't want to use it. They gave it to Stumbles. Anybody that Kid Slade was gonna battle against was getting this paperwork until somebody used it. Basically, they followed the same strategy of Big K and Adi Boom. When Adi Boom got out of jail, he was gonna battle whether it was eating ass or whoever he was gonna battle, they hit them up first and tried to give them the paperwork. They didn't use it. Then the next person, then the next, somebody is gonna grab it, you know what I'm saying? The thing is Slade it was on a, like a nine battle run and people that are either involved or had got told on allegedly, 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 allegedly um, they see that they get jealous. They're like, man, this nigga shining. His brother done told on me, see the thing is, right? 
I seen in Slade's interview where he was really, well, it wasn't an interview. He went on live. And sometimes going live, you know, it may be a good thing. It may not be a good thing. Uh, when it comes to paperwork, it's either yes or no. It's in black and white. Did you do this? If the answer is yes, and you said what I'm reading here, then that would be considered as testifying. I'm just based off of what I've read. But, um, so he, he basically explained, I'm not responsible for another man's actions or what another man do. So basically his brother snitched, because that's what he's saying. He's basically saying, I'm not responsible for another man's actions or what another man do. But like, I carry my brother like really close to me, you know what I'm saying? Like I fuck with my brother wholeheartedly. If he was to do some shit like that, it would definitely break me. I'm not even gonna lie, because you gotta walk around and that's the name. And Slade said in his video, this is how I know the paperwork is real. Because he said in his own live that the paperwork been out for years. This some shit niggas been addressed. And then he went to, you know, at the end of his, this is his own video. I'm going to play it at the end. This is his own video. Went to the whole, you know, niggas is in the city. Niggas ain't got no money. They jealous. They broke. But you're not. He didn't really address yes or no. Is this my paperwork? Did I do this? Yes or no? All he said was, who did I get time? Who did I get time? Now, that's kind of like a loophole because... If my brother got a nigga 100 years and I was involved in my brother's case, yes, I didn't get the person 100 years, but I was involved in my brother's case who got. You see what I'm saying? And there's a lot of people that watch this content um, that subscribe to me that have been to jail, have family in the court system. Shit, my brother's doing 308 months because all of his co-defendants told on him. He's the only one that stood up. The nigga took 23 years for that shit. I mean, he's at the back end. He got locked up in 05. So... Um, I will tell you that, that that when niggas testify and all that, it, it definitely fucks up families, fucks up kids, fucks up dynamics. But I think so many people are gravitating towards the story and, you know, going hard as far as Slay goes because of the content, you know, plug talk. You know, you're talking about the plug. I got gangsters and, I, I, and I'm this and I'm that. And that it's more derivative towards the street content is why niggas is carrying it the way they're carrying it. I'm telling you right now, if Slade, if you watch this or any niggas around you, they carrying it like this because of the way you rap, the things you talk about, the, the street, the plug, the drug, like niggas is, that's why niggas is carrying it like that. So I'm gonna get to some of the paperwork and I'll read it as uh, quick as possible so I don't have to take you guys whole day. Affidavit, um, you know, this is basically the affidavit, basically core paperwork from whatever case this was, uh, it says, State of Connecticut, uh, State of Connecticut Superior Court. It says uh, Beckett stated after the female left the big heavy set black male began saying things to the younger guy, such as "Why are you selling over here? You're not from here." Beckett stated the moment later that he believed this noise was the big heavier set bearded black male hitting the younger guy. Beckett stated, and this is like where the affidavit starts. So Beckett, I'll just drop down to where the where his name is involved, as a matter of fact. Um, on 4 23, 2013, David Doster testified, and David Doster is who they're saying the kid slate is. Testified before a superior judge, Doster testified that on June 13, 2009, he, Mark Doster, and Tron Gore, and a friend he only knows as Josh were on the Brook Street playing basketball. David Doster stated that while at the location, a man he knows only as Ape approached them and said that they were shooting a rap video in the back of Bedford Street and over go over there and get in the video. Doster stated that he only knew Ape meant him and his friends from Bedford Street. Doster stated that they then went to the location nearby 5153 Bedford Street. Once at the location, David Doster stated that in addition to Ape, he also remembers Platinum, JJ, J Jerk, Little Decky, identified as MGBR member or associate, James Brown, date of birth, 215.90, Starks, um, Kevin Leslie, and a couple of other subjects he referred to as flunkies being there. David Doster stated that everybody was chilling, laughing, getting ready to shoot the video, and getting drunk. David Doster stated that his brother Mark was debating with Platinum about a rap. Doster stated he guessed Abe didn't like what Mark Doster was saying. At the time, Abe began to hit Doster in the face of the bottle with a liquor bottle. David Doster stated that his brother attempted to defend himself against Abe. David Doster stated he jumped between Abe and his brother and was trying to defend and break up the fight that Abe and Mark Doster were punching him and Platinum 
David Doster stated that Antron Gore was behind him fighting an unidentified male. David stated that Gore hit him in the head and it busted open. Hold on. David Doster stated that Gore got hit in the head and was busted open. David Doster claimed that he did not see eight with a handgun and could not comment on whether he possessed one that day. David Doster confirmed that he accompanied Antron and Mark Doster to Francis Hospital where they both were treated for their injuries. David Doster viewed the video somewhere before the Superior Cut judge. Doster identified people he knew as eight platinum decky jerk starts. Doster identified the bottle that was clearly visible in the video in Ape's hands as consistent in the size and shape with the bottle that he witnessed. Assault Mark Doster. David Doster said the following assault. He did not return to the Breakfast Street area because he felt fearful for his personal safety. And then, um, you know, it's a bunch of other stuff in here, but uh, basically, uh, I, I'm going I'm to flip over to one more page where he says, uh, is app is still in the affidavit? Continue. Part 9. Mark Doster reported that he and Gore went to St. Francis Hospital for treatment from injuries from the assault. Doster reports that he had three of his front teeth knocked out. That's Mark Doster. This is the, yeah, this is the brother. Had three of his teeth knocked out, sustained cuts to his mouth, a black eye, and glass had to be removed from his face. Doster stated he received stitches, splints for his teeth, a migraine Doster informed investigators that he still suffers from the migraine headaches and is prone to sinus infections. That nigga told. I mean, the brother told. The brother definitely told. And uh, from what it's looking like, it's looking like Slade, who's David Doster's brother, got his ass whooped, and they pretty much testified against him, saying, in this paper, hey, ho, ho, hey, 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 I'm just telling you what the paperwork says, you know what I'm saying, and they got, I, hey, 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 hey. And the video could be still, still found online and shit. And it says, the medical records from Mark Doster and Antron Gore were obtained from St. Francis Hospital. These records confirm that both victims were admitted as patients to the emergency room on 6-13-09. Mark Doster's admission into the hospital's computer system at 5-28 p.m. And Gore's admission was entered at 5-30 the same day. Mark Doster's medical records reflect that the chief complaint on this date that he had broken teeth and he was treated for a dental fracture and a contusion to his face. Uh, it says the, the treating physician said he was assaulted with a glass bottle. You know what I mean? Um, so basically, Slade brother got touched up pretty bad. And it looks like uh, he was called and basically said what type of bottle it was, where it happened at, where the video was at, things of that nature. Now, I don't know who got time or who got how many years and who got 50 years, 40 years, 30 years, whatever the case may be. But if this paperwork, which has basically been talked about, uh, is legit, which it pretty much looks like it's legit. It's gonna be tough sledding. Um, Rock did have an interview on 15 Minutes of Fame. He definitely um, he explained that the niggas who, who put that information out was was basically coming after him, DMing him, sending him stuff, sending him clips, and wanting him to put it out. And somebody was gonna do it. I'll say this in the battle rap game, bro. If you know for a fact you have cooperated, you've been involved with cases and things like that, this might not be the sport for you because niggas are going to talk about it. It's going to get talked about. People are going to bring it out. It's going to be said. And there's nothing you're going to be able to do to get away from it. I'll play Kid Slade's part at the end. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that. Y'all let me know what y'all think about his paperwork in general. This is not the first time it's been done. Big K obviously did it with Adi Boom. Rock had it and he said, basically told me that nobody would have gave him a pass. He would have never got a pass. He would have had to stand on it. He said, when I held the door, I didn't get mad because I held the door, you know what I'm saying? And this is one of those communities where people want to know, and I'm giving it to y'all, and I'm out the way. But uh, other than that, salute to every single one of y'all, gang gang. What's up, man? Um, I'm about to address this shit one time and one time only. The main thing I want to point out is, like, this is driven by jealousy and hate, bro. So if you act, if you heard what Tay Rock said, Tay Rock said... I told on niggas in 2009 and in 2012, but here we are in 2022 and niggas just right, right now getting the paperwork out? No, bro. This shit been hit the streets. Niggas read it. Niggas know what it is. It ain't valid, bro. For one, one thing I'm going to say, don't fucking, don't, I don't care what the next man told on nobody. I don't care who else told on who or who said what. Show me what Slade told. You got to show me me telling on somebody. I'm a grown ass man. I don't control nobody else's actions and don't nobody control mine. 
If you ain't got paperwork on me putting niggas in jail for murders and shit, don't talk about that. Don't bring that to me. This ain't me, nigga. I'm solid. Nigga, show me me putting niggas in jail for that. The nigga jerk, you pussy. You just did this shit out of pure energy. But what I'm going to say is this. I'm going to wrap this up in a minute and I'm going to try. Near the court. Out of a jail cell. Anybody that don't know, you can't tell the warden or CEO that you're not going to court. They're going to rush the cell. Or I was in the dorm. They're going to rush the dorm. Tell everybody to get on their bunks. Put the Hannibal mask on you after they drag you to say. Put you in a wheelchair. Drag your stupid ass in the courtroom. And you're, gonna, you're going to court. Point blank period. I'm not going through all that just to say I didn't go to court. Only thing you got to do is when you go in court is not roll on niggas. So I went in the court and they literally asked me, do you know such and such? This such and such. Put a gun out on you. That's why the paperwork say Slade said there was no gun there. Because that's what I was going to court for. They said, yo, did anybody pull a gun out on you? I'm like, no. Nah. Did such and such do this? I'm like, no. No, I, 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 I don't even know who that is. Honestly, I'm, like, I don't know who that is. They running these names down. They give they running names, jerk, deck, plat. They up, they running niggas' names down from the block. I'm like, oh, I don't know these niggas. So then they play the music video. Oh, you don't know these niggas? So why are you in the video right here? Then they got a slideshow of pictures from funeral. Rest in peace, Zeke. They had pictures from Zeke funeral with all of us outside. If these if you don't know these niggas, why are you in all these pictures and in this video with niggas? What explain this? And I had to tell him, I'm like, yo, I, I, oh, I, I I didn't know that by those names you was given. Oh, these my friends. These your friends in this video? Yes, these are all my friends. I, like, I, nobody in this video would do any bodily harm to me. Nobody tried to do anything to me in that video. These are actually my friends. I don't, y'all got false information. These your friends. These your friends. Well, we're hearing different. I don't give a fuck what you heard. These my niggas and pretty much that's that. They start antagonizing, trying to make me mad and shit. And as far as the hospital shit go, they like, um... We know you were at the hospital with your brother and Antron. We we have the footage. We have the we have the surveillance video of y'all in the hospital. You were on the phone in the lobby, and then they started getting into detail. You were on the phone in the lobby, hostile. You were in the bathroom. You walked into the bathroom on the lobby on the phone, very hostile. You walked outside and was in the parking lot. They they got me on camera at the hospital. There's no denying camera footage. So yeah, I told him, of course I was there, nigga. But I don't know what y'all talking about. Nobody tried to shoot me. Nobody ever tried to shoot me. I'm slave. And then when they told me, well, if you okay with them, why don't we see you over there no more? And I told them clearly because there's nothing over there for me. But niggas coming through, shooting the block up. I almost lose my life all the fucking time. And every time I'm outside chilling, y'all jumping out, taking me to fucking jail. So there's nothing over there for me. I, I, I'm, I'm straight. Ain't nothing over there from prison. And then they hit me with the, well, you in prison right now. We know what you're doing out here in Blase Block. Because I went OT to get some real bread. You know, niggas stayed in the hood broke. I went OT, got my, I went OT, caught that case. And um, that's why I got subpoenaed to court. So for what it's worth, bro, I ain't never told on nobody. You telling niggas I got 60, I got one nigga 60 years, one nigga 37 years, and one nigga 10 years? Because they brought me in the courtroom. Okay, you told them I, that I told somebody, they, I told the police somebody got hit with a bottle. And that got one person 60, one person 37, and another person 10. What was the, was that a nuclear Heineken bottle? What happened? Y'all niggas got to make it make sense, bro. Real shit. And free my nigga black. My nigga black is locked up with eight. Eight told black I ain't telling him. Killer was locked up with eight. Eight told killer I ain't telling him. If I told on Ape and Ape in jail because of me, y'all niggas, y'all, that's y'all man, right? Get him on the phone and have him say it. Y'all got to stop doing this, bro. I know y'all don't like me and y'all jealous, but stop painting lies, bro. Ain't nobody in jail because of me, my nigga. Yes, my name is on that fucking paperwork because I got subpoenaed to court. That's not a, a, a written testimony like I went in and said, let me tell y'all this. Come on, bro. 60 years, 37 years, and 10 years because they brought me in and asked me about a fight. What kind of fight was that, bro? Y'all niggas is bugging, man. But I'm not addressing this shit no more, God. It is what it is. I'm solid. I'm the seven. It is what it is. You can't even get the niggas that you saying I put in jail on the phone to say I put them in jail. And whoever saying I got them 10 years and they came home six years ago, post the paperwork of how I put you in jail, bro. What? Why, why are you in jail? Because of me. What case? What one? The only paperwork Rock had with my name on it was me getting subpoenaed to court, asked about that fucking fight. That's it. And you telling me that three separate people got over 10 years for it, 160, 137. Man, shut the fuck up, bro. And the reason it's making me mad, bro, is because this is the type of shit that get niggas shot in their head at the light. And you niggas really going to be able to comfortably go to sleep knowing you got a nigga banged in the head for some shit he ain't do. 
dead ass. Nigga talk about I told on Decky. Nigga, I, I'm on the phone with Decky all the time. Decky ain't never seen paperwork on me. Decky told me he never even heard I was telling. Jerk, you gotta get out your fucking feelings or just pull up somewhere. You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, man, I ain't even wanna go on for this long. But that's 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 the math, man. I'm not addressing this shit no more. It is what it is, man. You either fucking with me or you not. But for what it's worth, I'm super solid. The niggas around Jerk ain't even talking. It's Jerk. It's a one-man army. Jerk, have somebody else staying with you besides you and that other bum-ass nigga with no car, no house, no bread, no nothing. I know what you niggas is into. Y'all niggas mad. I drive around the hood in the big body thing. I'm fly as hell. I wear my jewelry everywhere. I'm fucking bad bitch. Y'all niggas hate me. Hate me. You niggas ain't even got cars. Packs. You niggas ain't even got packs. Jerk, you a bitch, my nigga. You the softest nigga in the city, bro. Top Top one, my nigga. Damn, John Dickerson, stop playing with me, bro. Get them fed up, niggas know I'm pressure. Still deal with days where I know I'm great, but I'm feeling less. I got a nigga stressing, got me smoking heavy. Damn, I swear this weed shit been cold.